there's basically six recommendations in the task force. The first, and that is to continue the good work that Department of Health Services is doing, to continue to promote the various programs, whether it's memory cafes, having our cities and towns become dementia-friendly communities, the employer's portal to help uh, family members in businesses to help them uh, better care for maybe a loved one, a parent that has dementia. The second is to deal with, and this may be the most important item, it was loud, came to us loud and clear, there is a shortage of health care workers in the state of Wisconsin and in our country, and in particular a shortage of those workers dealing with elder care issues, including dementia. We need more uh, individuals from in-home care workers to CNAs to RNs to geriatric specialists in the MD fields. The third area is to continue the work looking at the pilot for crisis situations of those individuals that are really suffering from some more severe behavioral issues. The fourth is to continue looking at funding of research opportunities, particularly at the UW-Madison or the Mayo Clinic that is just doing outstanding research. The fifth is looking at guardianship issues in the state of Wisconsin to ensure that we're balancing individual and family rights and situations. That's something that needs to have some more time to take a look at. And then the last and, uh, again, equally important is educating our youth about what dementia is and what it isn't. One of the main reasons that I wanted to take this on was that um, my mom suffered from dementia. And my kids, her grandkids, have a very, I guess, less than favorable memory of her. If we can improve kids' of understanding of what this disease is and improve their knowledge, again, it makes the quality of life for families that are dealing with this so much better.